Hello, and welcome to my tutorial on installing TensorFlow on Linux. For those uninformed, TensorFlow is a machine learning Python library created by Google in 2015. It greatly simplifies the process of developing machine learning algorithms. The best comparison I could draw would be to think of game engines like Unity or Unreal, but for machine learning. Here's a screenshot of some of my notes on machine learning if you're not convinced that it's hard to do from scratch. If you want to develop with machine learning, TensorFlow is a fantastic tool for it. Anything from deep neural networks to computer vision can be done using TensorFlow. In order to set up TensorFlow, we first need to install CUDA, CUDNN, and TensorRT. First things first, we want to ensure that we have an NVIDIA GPU on our system. We can do that by running lspci and typing it into grep-i NVIDIA. As you can see, I have an NVIDIA RTX 2070. We also want to make sure that we have a 64-bit version of Linux installed. As you can see, I've got a 64-bit version installed. Now we want to check if UCC compiler is installed on our system. So we run GCC minus minus version. Now we want to ensure that we have our NVIDIA drivers installed. If you do not, they're relatively easy to install, and I'll leave documentation to setting them up in the description of this video. We're now ready to install the CUDA toolkit. We can get the toolkit at this page on NVIDIA's website. I'm running Debian 11, but the process for any Linux OS should be similar. First, install your OS version, hopefully Linux, and the architecture, x86 underscore 64. Select your distribution. Now you can select which installer type. Now the window will present you with a list of commands to run to get CUDA set up. The first wget command will download the local dev package on your machine. Now go to where it was downloaded and run dpkg, point it to the location of the file you just downloaded. Now it's going to download some keyrings on your system. Copy those over to user share keyring. Now enable contributor repositories. Run an apt update. Finally, you're ready to install CUDA. This can be done with a simple sudo apt install CUDA. Once this is done, you can run NVIDIA-SMI to verify that CUDA was installed successfully. Here, you can see that I've got CUDA installed, the NVIDIA driver version, GPU version, and all running GPU processes. We can also test the installation by running NVCC minus minus version, and the CUDA compiler should print out the version number we're running. If this doesn't work for you, Navigate to user slash local slash CUDA slash bin and run nvcc from that directory. You should see the version printout. You should then also add this location to your path via bash rc. Here's an example of that in my bash rc. Alright, next step is CUDNN, which is a CUDA library that allows for the creation of deep neural networks. We first want to install zlib1g on our system. This command may be different for those of you on non-Debian-based systems. Then we need to download the CUDNN library from NVIDIA's website. In order to do this, you will need to register for a developer account. Agree to the terms of the license agreement, then proceed to download 
CUDNN library, which matches your CUDA installation version. The version of CUDA I chose to install was 12, so I'll be downloading the CUDA 12 CUDNN library. Download the installer, which matches your operating system and distro version. In this case, I'll be downloading the Debian 11 installer. There are many different installers for every permutation of Linux version and CUDNN version here. So pick whichever one suits your OS, and the install should be similar to what you'll see here. Once you get it downloaded, I would recommend pulling up some kind of text editor on the right side, as the installation commands have some variables you have to replace. If you follow the documentation, you'll see something similar to what I have on the right. The three X's have to be replaced with whatever version of CUDNN you have downloaded. First, install the local package onto your system. Now copy over the keyrings from that install over to user share keyrings. Now update your packages. Now we have some more packages to install. The packages follow the same variable format, but now there's an x.y at the end of the package. These variables correspond to whatever version of CUDNN you're trying to install. So in my case, it would be 12.0. And once again, replace the X's with the corresponding version of CUDNN you're attempting to install. First, we will install lib cudnn8. Now we install the dev packages for lib cudnn8. It follows the same process as the previous package. Replace the variables accordingly. Last, we install the sample code for libdudnn8. Same processes as the last two packages. That's it. We should have all the required packages installed now. To verify the installation, we can copy over the sample code that we just installed from user source cudnn samples underscore v8 into our home directory. And navigate into this copy directory and go to the mnist cudnn subdirectory. Run a make clean and a make to build a fresh version of the sample program. Now run mnist cudnn. If the code runs successfully, you will see a test passed output at the very end. Once you see that, you know the packages were installed successfully and are, and are functioning on your system. Moving on now to TensorRT, which is the required library for setting up TensorFlow. Similar to cudnn, you'll need to download TensorRT from NVIDIA's website. You'll also need a developer account. There are many different versions of TensorRT available, but I'm just going to go with the latest one, which at the time of recording is TensorRT 8. 
Now, there are a little bit less versions of this library available for each OS when compared to the last few. It's mostly Ubuntu, CentOS, Slash Rel, and Linux x86 underscore 64. But since I am running Debian, and Ubuntu is Debian based, this will work for me. You can apply the same logic to whatever distribution you're using. Once the download is finished, we'll head over to where the local package installer was downloaded and run dpkg to install it. Now we're going to copy over the keyring to user share keyrings. Now we update the package manager. Now TensorRT is installed and the package manager is updated, allowing us to install more packages as needed. But this is all we need to get TensorFlow working. Now we're going to move on to installing TensorFlow proper. First, we want to install TensorRT using pip. Now we install TensorFlow using pip. To test our installation, we can open up the Python interpreter by running Python 3, and once we get in, try import TensorFlow. You may see an error, but there are some missing libraries. If you see this error, it can be fixed by searching your system for whatever library is missing. and adding it as an LD library path in your bash RC. Most of these libraries are installed by various pip packages, and your system just doesn't recognize where they are. Then run the source command and point it to your newly updated bash RC. Once that's done, TensorFlow should load without any errors. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments below.